Hey guys, in this video we're going to replace this old Yankee Swifter mechanism because this isn't working and we're going to swap it with a new good working one. So stay tuned. And we're going to do that with just these basic materials. So we have some 10 mm aluminum round stock, some basic steel tube with 10 mm inside. This will just get mounted over the aluminum round stock, screwed into place and then make sure it's, it's stuck firmly. We have these, yeah, just typical bearings. And we are going to use these heim joints because there's nothing wrong with those. So we can just reuse them to reduce the cost. So the first thing I want to go and do is drill a hole in both of these ends. And the same with this 70 centimeter round stock. Therefore, I can tap a M6 thread in there and then I can mount the heim joints in there so that's i think the most easiest way to do it so as you can see the heim joints fitted in i tapped the holes i uh, drilled so the heim joints can fit in so now we can start attaching it onto the buggy now we have to drill a hole in each sleeve so we can take a bolt just get it through and can bolt it in the aluminium round stock and this is the way I have to do it, since I don't have a lathe. Drill a hole in here, put the hand drill, and just clamp it on to my workbench. Because it is just, isn't just a workbench, uh, these are just a few pieces of wood screwed together. But anyway, it kind of works, the hole is not really in the middle. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really matter that much, because I won't have to adjust it later. So, let's do the other. Three holes so four holes later that sounds like i'm on a golf course but okay that's not the case uh, four holes later i drill these holes out i have to get them tapped in a bit so we just put them like there there you go now the point is this is the shaft goes in the center so this is actually the shaft that gets pivoted i have the hole over there as you can see i mean it goes through there you go. It's always on the other side as well. Uh, I flattened these pieces, this part, so it's easier to drill. Uh, tap it, drill it, and then I've got, like I said before, these sleeves. I'm going to drill a hole in as well. Just go over there, and I can just with a screw attach them to each other. We have a piece on here for the hand joint, and then just simple as that make sure you don't over tighten your vise because these yeah this is just thin wall pipe i think 1.5 millimeters thick so if you press the vise too hard yeah they won't be round but they, they're more like an oval ask them what you want because they still have to go over the aluminium round stock so this is exactly what we wanted six millimeter hole inch uh yeah sleeve so now we can drill up there and we have to there, oh, we have to make a bracket over here for the hind joint to yeah to attach on so there you go the double mounted just like this uh, and the steel sleeve steel piece of pipe is now very snug on the aluminium yeah you can just see it's like a so yeah you can actually just see it as a splined axle uh, where a machine maybe a slot put the key away in it and yeah then it's fixed it's fixed as well but this way you just screw it this is way cheaper and works actually the same so this is the way i'm going with good to see the other side fits as well so the next step is to install these bearings so we have to drill a hole in this plate near that hole the next day so it's actually the next day and I've cut these brackets out. Uh, this one is for the shifter. And these two are for the sleeves that go over the aluminium pipe. This is the same pipe as on there, but just without the hole. And I'm going to weld this onto here. Or here, that, that depends on where the, uh, the bolt is. So, and the hand joint can attach to this hole and it can rotate. And I came up with another solution because firstly 
uh, it came from this bracket down to the back over the engine and down to the gearbox but now i am going to do it, to do it a bit different go it goes from there so as you can see here's the the splined axle it goes down this, under the seat to the other side of the buggy comes out here and goes to the gearbox by this this piece of tubing to the mount here so that's the plan for now changed a bit but either way it does actually the same thing so it doesn't really matter that much okay so i fast forwarded a few steps i made a bend in this bracket because otherwise as you probably there you go as you can see if it was just straight it would hit the uh, the metal tubing and i connected it to it's very hard filming this connected it to there so if i now there it goes that's what i want what we want and i also welded up the other side there it is there it is down and you might be thinking why you did it down because the gearbox has to go clockwise so it has to go this way and now this thing goes this way as well so it just pulls when i want to gear up that's what yeah that's what i want so that's why i've done that so now what we have to do now is lengthen this piece this this piece because it's not long enough it has to add a bit yeah, a few centimeters because that's to go from there to there that's what we're going to do next so i measured from that point to this point is one meter and 14 centimeters and i was thinking i still had this aluminium rod this round stock and the one part was 70 centimeters one part was 40 centimeters so what i did since i already tapped this i uh, screwed the bolt in cut the bolt off so i got a piece of thread sticking out of the rod of the round stock and i yeah i screwed the other side in so now this is a piece of one meter and ten centimeters and with the hind joints a bit out of the round stock it probably is enough so i'm going to now to install it so it's attached on this side go to the other side it just yeah a little bit too short but i don't think that's a problem because we can just this round turn this around and then as you can see it fits so let's bolt together and there you go i bolt this together i kept it like this but i just uh, turn it a bit because there's a spine axle i have to bolt this down but it's something for later so we can test it now as you can see sister here it's quite hard to film why i do both at the same time but i can turn on this light here as you can see it says neutral right now do like this this is the first gear so and back to neutral again so i think it's actually quite working quite good and of course you could do it the other way around uh, but i thought this looks way much cleaner because you can see this piece under there at this piece you can see it <coughs> normally and it's hard to see this tube as well from the side and this tube and this piece of round stock has also worked yeah it's hard to see from down here so i think that's very nice and i think this was the most simple option for me right now with the materials i had so yeah you probably have to look for yourself what's easy and what you can do but try to be a bit creative it's always nice because you don't touch to your project car so yeah guys that's quite it for this video this video where we made a great working shifter if you want to see more about my cbr 1000 cross card cbr 1000 engine in the back very light cross card subscribe to my channel like this video and comment what you think about this homemade shifter and i'll see you guys in the next one bye